Hello and welcome to Gabriel's 3D Printing. Today we're going to be looking at Batman by Leo DDC. Um, if you take a look at the notes, we see that supports will be required for the model. So we'll definitely keep that in mind. But other than that, there are no other comments made by the designer. Now, first thing we should do is download all the files. So in order to do that, all we have to do is click on this download all files button which will then give us a zip file, which we'll need to extract. Once you've downloaded and extracted all files, you should have a folder similar to this. We're gonna double click on it, and we notice that we have two STL files. We have Batman and Batman supports. Batman is gonna be the regular unmodified file, which we're gonna use for this project. And Batman supports is the modified file in which the designer decided to include supports already pre-designed now, I highly recommend that you always slice your own supports rather than using somebody else's as their supports may not be compatible with your printer. The next step is going to be to import the STL file into our printing slicer. Now, I'm using Cura 4.6.1, so all I have to do is click on the STL file and hold and just drag it into Cura. We'll give it a few seconds to load up. It should not take too long. But once it is loaded up, we notice that the model is yellow and black, which is not a good sign. This means that the model does not fit in the printing bed. So we're going to do two things. We're going to reorientate the model, and we're going to move the model. So let's uh, reorientate it first. Now, with 3D printing, you always want a flat surface to be on the build plate. Now, if you look around the model, you see that the bottom of the bust is flat. So we're going to orientate this surface to the build plate. In order to do that, you click on the model. We're going to go to the third row, third column, click on this button. And all I have to do is click on the flat area here. And it should reorientate our model. Now, the model now is halfway below the build plate and halfway above. So we're going to have to move this up into the origin. So to do that, we click on the model, we're going to go to the first row, and for the coordinates, we're going to enter 0, 0, 0. So x equals 0, y equals 0, and z equals 0. And now our model is yellow, yellow and uh, fully defined, so we should be able to go to the next step. Now for the purpose of this print, I don't want the Batman full size, so I'm going to scale it down a little. So in order to do that, I'm going to click on the model. I'm going to go down here to scale, which is the second row. And I'm going to make sure that uniform scaling is on. Now all I have to do is select what scaling percent I want. So I want it to be 80% of the current size. So we're going to type 80, enter, and it should scale down my model to 80%. Now before we start messing with any settings, let's take a closer look at the model. You can do that by zooming in with the mouse wheel or holding right click and moving your mouse around to alter the camera. We see that there's a lot of detail, so we definitely want an appropriate layer height. And we also see that there's a lot of red at certain sections of the model, so supports will be necessary in order to avoid drooping. I will be using a 0.2 millimeter layer height, but you may use a 0.16 or a 0.12 if you want to have finer detail, but that will increase the printing time. Supports, like we mentioned before, will be required. So in order to enable those, we'll click on supports, click on generate supports. Now, don't change any of this unless you've done benchmarking on your printer before. I know my printer can handle an overhang angle of 55, so I'm gonna switch it to 55, but to most printers should be fine at 45 degree angle overhangs. Build plate adhesion we do we will not need due to the large contact area between the model and the build plate. And other than that, we should be set. So all we have to do now is slice and give it a few moments in order for the software to do its thing. Once completed, you should be given a time estimate as well as an estimate of how much filament will be used during the printing process. We see that's going to take roughly 16 hours to print and we'll use a total of 147 grams of filament. Once you're satisfied, you should preview the file to see if there's any errors or anything that needs attention. And as we see here, the supports look pretty good. Model looks complete. So we're ready to send it off to the printer.
Here you can take a few looks at images around the model with different perspectives. And you should also be able to see a video close up on the supports and the entire model printed. Supports aren't too hard to remove, I would rate them at a 1 out of 5 difficulty. Here we can take a closer look at the model once the supports have been removed. As you notice, there's great detail and not too many defects throughout the model. Now, as of now, the model will greatly benefit from post-processing, so I highly suggest you use some sandpaper and smooth enough some of the rougher parts of the model. I did do that, but I didn't get any video recording of it, so this will be good enough for now.